Well, what's up everyone and welcome to the guide. I want a broken sword Dark Souls 3. You want a broken sword Dark Souls 3. He, she, we wants a broken sword Dark Souls 3 and I'm going to show you how. And before we get into it, I really want to say that Broken Sword Dark Souls 3 is a pretty solid challenge. Now it's not absurd, it's not like fists only for example, but it is pretty solid. So if you are looking for a pretty nice challenge, but not something just completely stupid, well you've come to the right place. Because in my opinion, this is the most fun Broken Sword playthrough out of the trilogy. Dark Souls 2 Broken Sword is way too easy, and Dark Souls 1 Broken Sword is probably the hardest, but it's also the most boring. This one is still pretty difficult, plus it's a really fun one. There's lots of great fights to be had, so yeah. The only thing I have left to say is that there's one huge challenging thing about this run. And that's sponsored content. Sponsorinoed by HelloFresh Arena. Oh wow, look everyone, it's me, Lenny's wife. Have you been eating food all day again? You'll only get fat, and then I'll have to have another affair. No, I won't get fat eating this. Why's that? Are you bulimic? No, because HelloFresh provides me with fit and wholesome recipes that make it easy to eat well without sacrificing flavor so that you can maintain all of your goals and feel good about your food choices. Or maybe you just have a packed schedule. Well, HelloFresh has meals covered with a week weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door. And here's my pro gamer tip. Once you've signed up, you can keep the recipes they send and then just make them with your own ingredients next time. Actually, I don't know if, if I'm allowed to say that. I, I have just bankrupted HelloFresh. I am now facing multiple lawsuits, but that's okay because HelloFresh works with my schedule. Plans are flexible. You can change your meal preferences, delivery day, and even your address with just a few taps of the HelloFresh app. So use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use the code POGLENNYNOV70 for 70% off plus free shipping on your first box. So thanks again, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Mm. Yes, indeed. Smiley face. Cemetery of Ash, no fucking way, this is scary. Quit the game, this game is too hard. Go on then, try me. Go on. Oh shit, you can do that boss whichever way you like, you can do it normally, like you punch it like I did. Either way, the run will start right here with the broken sword. It's kind of like a call to action, you know what I mean? That's the first weapon you can pick up in the game. Oh, what are these fucking crows want? Piss off! Oh, wow. Honestly, in this guide, I have very little to say about the run-through, apart from just do it normally and pick up a few extra items I'm going to show you. This item right here is actually pretty useful for Vought, because you're going to be getting a big DPS upgrade with this. Boom. But yeah, you don't really have to follow this bit by the letter, because just like, honestly, do your normal run-throughs of the levels. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? Wait, am I playing Dark Souls 2? Oh, shit, guys, I've been playing Dark Souls. Oh, okay, I'm gonna restart the video now and actually start playing Dark Souls 3. Okay, sorry about that. What's your guys' favorite voice line in Dark Souls 3? Mine's. Ah, the rate has been long, <laughs> Now, a lot of people might be joking around about haha, kill her and do dancer early. We are doing dancer early, and no joke, that's not even for a meme. It is the efficient and easiest way to do this, doing dancer early, but not yet. All right, first boss. Oh, I should have put this on my tool belt, but I don't give a shit. Use this, and now you're gonna be doing about, I think 60 damage a swing. Get over here, little fuck boy. Yeah, 42, look at that. Not that bad. Maybe if you're just getting started, maybe do a few attempts without the pine resin, and when you feel comfortable, then go with the pine resin. Obviously, I've practiced spots a lot. I know his weak spots like that. Okay, it's mandatory for the Broken Sword run. When his form starts, you have to sing along. Sing along. <laughs> what the f... This is, okay, this is an important teaching moment. There's a reason I died there. And it's because I didn't sing the theme loud enough. It's not the worst. It's not the best. This is what I'm saying. It, it has got a little bit of challenge to it. So it's a, it, it's a good one if you want to kind of test yourself. It's a nice one. Oh, shit. Oh, I can press R1 all fucking day, that's my problem. Right, so believe it or not, the next boss actually is Abyss Watchers. Oh, when you're here, pick up this little fucking thing, charcoal bundle, bomb, and the second one here. You need that for fucking later, don't worry about it. Hey, piss off! Get a real job, like me. <laughs> oh yeah, also make sure to pick up this, obviously. Do I really have to show that in the video? Just me picking up all the Estus? No, just find the fucking Estus. I don't need to tell you that shit. There's one question on my mind. And where is Sigmire? I want to bite his fucking cock off. Oh shit! 8,000 souls? Okay, it's worth it. 
Okay, so maybe do that and just kind of help Sigma. Kind of worth it for the souls. So the reason for doing all this shit wasn't for that. It's for the rings. This one's a Flynn's ring? Yeah, Flynn's ring's pretty good. Give me that shit. Or out of my fucking way. So, there's a very important item coming up. It's the ashes that gets you infinite amounts of Titanic shards, which allow you to get a plus three weapon, right? So most of our power level is gonna come from getting a very early plus four. Oh yeah, when you go down here, make sure to pick the shield. Make sure to get that. Oh, no, 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 no. I can press, oh wait, I can press the B button. Wait, wait, if you're ever in doubt, just press fucking B, it works. Some of you fuckers out there might think, oh, I'll, I'll use whatever armor. No, you are required by law of the Broken Sword run to get Pretty Princess going. But we are doing one more little fight before going in. We are killing the big stone undead demon at the top of this tower. So if you're a dumb fuck like me and you didn't pick up all the Titanite, this is where you can get the infinite Titanite. Wait, how many did I fucking get? I got five, shit. <laughs> I have to buy seven, that's fine. You go down here, you go to this little door here, you go, hmm, fuck you. And this is the thing to get infinite shards. Go here, give the ash. Hmm, fuck you! Don't tell her anything. That's a plus three already. We are getting a plus four. Oh, oh shit, I, I forgot. Uh, do the raw gem as well. Fuck. This is a shit guide. I should have told you to do that like before I bought. Hey, fuck. Um, I didn't say this guy would be good. I kind of fuck it up a lot. <laughs> Whatever. Oh wait, shit, I should upgrade my Estus. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait, fuck. This is the worst guide ever. Oh, shit. Uh, do that. <laughs> How many have I got? Shit. Um, I've got a fucking important. I've got like nine Estus. Oh shit. This big tubby fuck boy is important because when you kill him, he drops a soul. That soul is worth 20k. 20k souls. That's gonna carry you to like motherfucking like level. Oh shit. I fucked up. Let go of me, you foul beast. Oh fuck. Am I playing Dark Souls 2? Wait. Shit! Oh, I've been making a guide on Dark Souls 2, right? Okay, I have to restart the video now. Fuck. Boom. Boom. Nice. Watch this. A boom, a bam. Give me that. 25k souls in the back pocket. Do not go down the elevator. Stay up here. You go to the back here. There's a little, like, broken wall. Hey, yeah. Like that. Come on, do a jumping attack so he doesn't teleport away. That is two large titanites. That's a plus four already. Sell the fucking Sigbro. I don't give a shit. If she drinks that Sigbro, she's gonna fucking die. She's like 90 odd. She'll fucking die. So just give her that. So upgrade the weapon to a plus four. And let's see what health bar we're gonna get. 26. But then look at this, right? Look at this. <laughs> That's like an end game life bar, no? All right, this cutscene is a freaking epic. Look at these guys fighting over the Fortnite battle pass. Give it a fucking thing. And the cutscene ends there. It's really dis it's disgusting, in fact. The fight begins. Uh, pop this little fucking thing. You're going to do like sort of like this shit. Boom. And the good thing about this, look, look at my stamina use per swing. I can combo him all fucking day. No, I can't because he has poison. But well, look at this. Boom. Go for a backstab. And then the other one should be spawning. But look, look at the stamina use per swing, plus the staggers. When we take hits here, we can trade. And this is why we level health. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do with this health bar? And this is exactly what I'm saying about the Broken Sword run. It's about surviving long enough for the damage to make sense, right? So if you just make yourself irrelevant to the boss's damage, what are they gonna fucking do about it? All I have to do is survive like five times as long as I usually would have. And the damage will make itself up, right? Look, I'm gonna let him hit me there. Look at that, what's he, what is he gonna fucking, with this health bar, what is he gonna fucking do about it? And that's why we level health. Don't just ignore strength and dex for now. Walnir, what is this on the table? You scruffy fucking goth. Whoa, whoa guys. I know this game is like fucking, I know it's Halloween and everything, but oh man. Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Ooh, ooh. It's all scary, it's all dark. Wait. Whoa, it's so scary, man. I'm scared. I'm... What's this fucking... Ah! Guys, it's scary. It's fucking scary. I'm sorry. Did you know next boss is Pontiff? And do you know what our next boss after Pontiff is? It's Dancer. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It's, it's, again, it goes back to what I was saying before about the power level kind of cap. Oh, wait, shit. I have to get the doll. I forgot. I don't have the battle pass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we actually do come here for the, believe it or not, for the ring. It boosts attack as long as I keep attacking. But as you can see, without stamina bar per swing, we can keep up the attacks quite a fucking lot. So that damage actually does kick in quite frequently. Hey, guess what we're doing with our level ups? Nice one. Anyway, fuck. <laughs> Look at that health 
bar. You can't argue with it. Fuck you. Okay, this is actually really important. You have to do this. Mandatory. Yep, you make a promise. You, you're not going to do it. You can do the fuck about it. Right, you can go back. Then. Fortnite Battle Pass. <laughs> Where is the battle pass? Okay, so actually I think this is patch, what, 1.12? Yes, they moved the Fortnite battle pass from his desk. I don't know, maybe you guys can comment in the video, where is the Fortnite battle pass right now? Oh no, that did one tenth of my health bar. Whatever will I fucking do? You have to survive long enough for the damage to make sense and you are surviving, man. Whoa. Now that is an epic souls bond shot. Maybe I should prepare to cry. So actually, you do want to pick up this thing up here. Boom, Lloyd Sword Ring. We're going on a fucking one, two, three. Three hits compared to, boom, bam. One, two. Yeah, okay, sometimes it's two shots, sometimes it fucking doesn't. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. If it gets overcrowded, you need to go out, get recenter like that. And yeah, you can't contest that. You can't fight back that because you've got the range of a dagger. You might struggle there because of the range of the weapon. So my only advice is just pick your fights way more often. I mean, you do have a lot of health, but still. Oh yeah, I forgot about these souls. Oh shit. Guess what we're doing with that? Holy fucking shit! Guess what? Next boss is Pontiff. Ooh, shit. But it's going to be fine. Trust me. For this one, unfortunately, you might have to learn a few tricks. Mainly, you're going to have to learn how to parry. Now, it's not as bad as it sounds. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one attack. And whenever you see that attack, you parry. I'm not trying to teach you to parry the whole moveset. No, just this one attack. Right, play normally until you hit this bit here with a little guy coming up the side. He goes, oh, fuck you, you dodger. Right, what are you going to do? Get the staff out, right? Go on this little wall here. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Go on this little bit here. Put your face to that little rock right there. Cast spook. And press B. Just, just back jump, back jump normally. You gotta hit that bit of wall right there. If you don't hit that with a little bit of wall, you die. And you go right here, boom. And that is the ashes to get infinite amounts of lightning resin, our main resin for the entire playthrough. I would advise for a first timer, getting as much Estus as possible. I've got 10 plus six right now. I think you can get 12, but yeah, if you wanna get more Estus, be my guest. This guide is just mainly for the bosses. In between bosses, you're pretty much free to do what you want. Fuck you. Right, I know to parry that one, but what it is, it's when he jumps to the side and uses the flame sword. He might do it now, in fact. Parry this one. You got plenty of time. There's such a, he does a big jump and he goes, oh, he does a big wind up on the sword. Do it again, fuck boy, there it is. Look, look at all, and he, I missed it there and I still did it. Look at all that lovely spare time he's giving you to do it. Throughout this entire run, you might notice, I'm never, 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 never gonna be two-handing. The damage bonus you get from two-handing is not worth it. How much damage am I losing out on? Actually, let's have a look. It's so one hand, I'm doing 120. Two-handed, I'm doing. So I'm doing five more damage. Boom. So he did the move there, so I parried it. I'm doing five more damage for a very bad hitbox. Look at that. It's very horizontal. So it's very vertical. You see, I'm kind of missing him there because it's very vertical. Versus. Look at that lovely wide swing. I can catch him on so many weird angles. This is why I much prefer one-handed over two-handed. The five extra damage you get is not worth a very superior moveset. But yeah, that one might take a bit of practice. Again, I've done that, God, with Broken Sword, no joke, I've done that about 50 times. The main thing is getting that parry down. When he does that big jump with the Flame Sword attack, just getting ready on that with the parry. Alrighty, this is where it gets interesting, boys. Next up is motherfucking dancer. So the idea is, is that we're doing dancer early because of y'all. After killing dancer, we can go to the high wall. And after doing high wall, we can get a plus nine or a plus 10, right? Then come back for y'all. That's the idea. It's the same reason as the Abyss Watchers. With this ash right here, I'm gonna get plus sixes. Think about it, really. I've got a plus six weapon. That's the majority of my damage. I'm using a fucking raw straight sword, right? So the plus six is all my damage. So if I do it Aldrich and Yorm right now, I still have a plus six by the time I get to Dancer. So if I just go to Dancer now, I still have the same damage. I still have the same plus six, but minus like what? Four health levels? So once you understand that you have the same damage by going to Dancer now or later, well, you may as well just go now and then get the plus nine from Dancer and then come back. Now, of course, with normal weapons, this isn't the case because you can get strength and dex levels to actually get more damage. But with a broken sword run, after we get this plus six, we're not getting anything else. That's our damage, like soft cap. Okay, so now we're doing Dancer. And the thing about this now is yeah, we've had very OP health for a long time. This health bar is still very fucking tasty. 
But at this point, they're just starting to catch up with you. Just, just about, you know what I mean? So, you do have to actually start playing video games again. It is going to start getting a bit harder again. Sometimes I swing the sword and like, fuck, that should have hit. Like right there, for example. And right there, for example. It's the range of a dagger. So, you really got to get stuck in, boys. It's a bit shit. Oh, this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, yep. Yeah. Boom. Right. That might take you a few times. You might be stuck in that for a good hour or two. I know I was first time. I just want to say as well, for the video, I'm really sorry. I can't give you like any more advice. You might look at that bit there and say, well, well, you didn't really tell me much. Like, what am I supposed to do? As I've said before, the only real important advice I can give you is just play as normal, but for four times as longer. That is the only real piece of advice I can give you. 90% of bosses, and I'm sorry to say it's a bit boring, but... That's it. Whoa, hey guys, voiceover Lenny here. So I know I said I wasn't going to show any sort of route for like Estus or Titanite, but I'm going to show this one because it's quite hard to find on YouTube. If you want to find Estus, there's like tons of guides for that. But I'm going to include my own personal Titanite chunk route. One thing that you have to remember though, this is also including the one chunk that you get by giving a black firebomb to Snuggly the Crow. It's all you need for the plus nine. Also, while I'm here, I'm just going to address something else really quick. By this point, you might be hitting level 50 health. You are and now go into level strength or dex, whichever one you prefer, and use a heavy or a sharp infusion. But what's important to remember is that the raw infusion still does more damage until you hit level 23 strength or dex. So level whichever one you prefer, and then only switch over to a heavy or a sharp broken sword after hitting 23. Reinforce, boom, 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 and there you go. And with a plus nine, it's gonna be quite a bit more comfortable. Still pretty hard, but comfortable. What's my favorite moment in this game? When Gwyn comes back and he goes, So, John Dark Souls, you stand before me. First, I must have your blood vials. And that's when I knew that game was epic. Uh, bosh, bosh, bosh. Pretty fucking good. As you can see, I've actually used almost all my Estus there. So that one can be pretty tough. You know, so hey, coming back here with a plus nine, totally fucking worth it. So, here we go. It is Yom Broken Sword only. And when you say that, it sounds like it's going to be one of the fucking hardest things ever. But it really, really isn't. I have done a dedicated full video on the matter of fact, actually. But I'll go over it again, kind of more basically, and show you it's not really that bad. It is pretty tough, make no mistake, but not as hard as it sounds. Okay, here we go. So when I first started doing this way back in like 2016, I did this. I attacked the legs like this. What I did instead is now I notice you can hit the arms. Look at that. See how he's right-handed and he's holding the sword in his right hand? Hit that one specifically because after hitting that hand and only that hand, he will go down for a repost. It might, he might do it now. Here we go. Bundle up, running attack. One, two, stop, parry. And look at that fucking damage. Almost 4,000. So honestly, it's not as bad as it sounds. I have done this hitless broken sword. I've done it personal best five minutes. If you can get the kill on the repost, you get a unique death animation. Very fucking cool. Now this boss for the broken sword can be very, very tricky because it goes against some of the principles I've been saying, how the point of the broken sword run is surviving long enough for the damage to make sense. When the butterfly dragons come in at phase two, they can really do a bunch of damage, but we'll be seeing a lot more of the butterfly dragons, maybe four or five times, you know? No! Oh, this is what I'm on about. This is exactly what I'm on about. Almost died there. The butterflies can make this a right pain. Of course, as I said before, you can go to Ashes of Iron Dell and get this plus 10 way earlier. However, I'm not a little bitch, and I'm also showing people who don't have the DLC, you can still do this and be fine. I don't care if it's fucking 3am where you're watching this video, or when you're doing this run. I don't give a fuck. When you get to this bit, you are required by broken sword rule to say the fucking line. I don't care. Wake up your parents. I don't give a fuck. Oh dear. Another fucking contender. No. Yeah, advice wise, just play normally. As always, just play normally for four times as long. It was, oh dear brother, oh, oh fuck brother! You really fucked it this time! Oh, that's, that's actually, that's the deleted voice actor scenes from that scene. Bomb, 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 bomb. I'm gonna prepare to cry. There we go, bomb, ace GG. And there it is boys, that is base game. Of course, you can go on to the DLC if you so wish. Just know the DLC is where it gets fucking rough, boys. But if you want to stop at base game, it's still a really huge achievement and it's a good game to you, man. That was a really well played. Can't have forgot about my in-game name. Like you see there, two hours and 44 minutes. Not a bad time at all. Again, I've done this a fucking lot. Don't worry about it. 
Baji, that's dead. The fuck out of me. This place is spooky. Uh, oh, fuck off, lad. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? And actually, this is the point where the run becomes too hard. So if you want to quit now, I don't blame you. I'm personally gonna quit here because I think I think the run's impossible at this point. So yeah, we can actually leave here. I've seen you. Oh, mate, you sound well sexy saying that. I have a fucking feeling we're going to get real fucking tasty, baby. This, in my opinion, is probably the hardest. Probably harder than Medea. Probably harder than Gale. I'd say so. Get a comment on the video. I want everyone to comment your best Father Ariandel impression. Here's mine. Now, the problem with this fight is she's got a massive fucking scythe and you've got a tiny little broken sword. So if I try and trade, it's not going to work. She's going to outrage me. Phase two, however, you are going for Father Ariandel. One good reason for going for him is that if you hit him enough times, which you're likely to do with the broken sword, stamina use, you get a repost. Yeah, also, you got to look out for Frida doing the heal because with a broken sword, you're going to lose a lot of progress by not letting him heal. And yeah, I just want to congratulate you for beating probably the toughest boss for Dark Souls 3 broken... What? No flipping way. But this is where it gets hard, and you gotta play, unfortunately, like a little fuckboy. Just, just, that attack is a good one to abuse, and they disappear. Apart from that, it's mega fuckboy passive mode. It's boring, yeah, I know. It's not, y y y by all means, go for it if you wanna try and fight it normally, but man, with Broken Sword, having to last this long in this phase is very, very tricky. If you wanna go for it, go for it, but man, don't feel bad if you want to play like a little fuckboy like me. You don't even want to contest that. With your dagger, fucking hell, man. With your dagger range, you can't. You just can't contest it. There's no point. See that you're playing for those backstabs. That's where the majority of your damage is going to come from. Oh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, this one's easy. You roll in and you go, oh, hey yo, and that is GG. That is a very tough one. So, man, you might be stuck there for a few hours, and yeah. I wish you the very best to look at that one because it gets fucking tough. What's this? A free item for me? No fuck. Do you mind? I'm gonna fucking say it and I don't care who hears it. I'm gonna put it in the video. Fuck this. This game? Pretty fucking dog shit. I think Dark Souls 2 is the best one. Wait! Speaking of Dark Souls 2, look at this. Hi guys. Did you know that this is actually Dark Souls? Oh, what the shit? We are absolutely going for this one first. For two reasons. So whatever the melee demon is, it's easier to go get that one first. And he will transform into the melee demon very soon. In fact, right now. But also, secondly, killing this one first makes phase two a lot easier. If you don't know the demon prince in the phase two, it's different depending on what demon was killed first. And the one for killing this one first is way Fucking easier. Oh, when you get the repost, obviously go for it. Even if, even if this shit's happening, get the iframes there. There's the repost. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I said that hitbox is very generous. You can see how it clipped me into it. So yeah, definitely go for that. Oh yeah, you have to dodge that little wind so you can get in here. I'm gonna time it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And maybe like eight with no stamina bar. Yeah, eight with no stamina bar. It's kind of what you're looking at. But as you can see, the damage isn't spectacular. I mean, it's, 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 Doable damage. The damage here is pretty much dropped off. He's doing like a third of your health bar per hit. You're doing shit damage here, so at this point, yeah, you've dropped off plus ratio. I'm trying to do a Fortnite. I'm trying to do a Fortnite funny. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Fuck you. And there we go. That one's pretty hard. <clears throat> I want to prepare you all to cry. Did you guys know that here is Majula? No fucking way. <laughs> oh shit! Did I fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up. The run's over. Thanks for coming by, guys. I really appreciate it. No flipping way. An epic dragon in my medieval fantasy. Now, this is epic. No, 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 no. Hey, yeah. I don't know how the fuck that works. Don't tell. Don't, don't, I don't know. Don't ask. Just remember this bit of rock right here. It's the only bit that kind of jutters out this, this far. And no matter what attack he does, he can never hit you. He can do any old shit. It'll never hit. What I want to know, you know that little bump on his, on his torso there? Is that his cock? And he, he goes, oh, fuck. Oh, and that's the actual voice actor for Medea. Believe it or not, it's cut content. Really cool kind of addition there. A comment that I get a lot, of course, is that people saying, oh, no, do you not think like, this weapon would be the worst? You know, you could do like a plank shield only run. There's a lot of things that actually are worse than the broken sword. But the fact of the matter is the broken sword's iconic because it sounds like the worst. It, the name sounds like the part, do you not think? Yeah, even though breaking a chime and using the chime staff bash is probably the worst weapon in the game. But the broken sword sounds like the worst, and that's why I like it the most. As you enter Medea's boss room, make sure to go really slow. He is way past his bedtime. Snooze, snooze. This one can be a tricky one, but I have to say, a lot of people actually think Medea is the hardest boss in the game. And here we go, this is a really cool bit. This is what makes this boss a lot easier than you think. 
when you get the repulse, which happens that they're on about quarter health, it is fixed damage. If you're a quarter of the way in and you're out of Estus, you could get that repulse and it seals it. As I said before, I've been in Medea boss fight for like what? 10 hours of a broken sword. And, I learned, and that's the thing, you learn these games and you learn how to play really well by doing broken sword runs. And I know it's a shit thing to say, because it's like saying, oh my god, that boss is so easy. All you have to do is know exactly what to do. So, I know it sounds a bit shit, but honestly, you really learn a lot from this run. So that's why I like the broken sword run. Judicator Argo. You mean Judicator Fortnite Battle Pass. That's his name. I know it sounds really lame as fuck, but no lie, this is probably the joint hardest boss fight for the Broken Sword run. I'm not even joking. And it's really fucking lame to say because it's like, what, half light? But it goes against everything with the Broken Sword run. He will three shot you, most of the time two shot you. Partners here can heal him. On some attacks he has poise, and because his weapon is so long and super spammable, and has poise, you can't win just by brawling him down. You have to play Unfortunately, like a little bitch, I'm gonna show you how. So, in arrow form, you can just do running attacks like this. Maybe like a little cheeky one. Okay, so run in, run out. When he's done that, running attack right there, and don't follow up, because if he does a light attack in response, he will beat you to the punch. Run in, run out. He will beat you to the punch, and he will just like fucking two shot you. No joke. Oh, he got poised too, what the hell? I mean, come on, man. It's a lot harder than you think, and if people think this is easy, I very much employ to try this yourself. It's a lot harder than you think. Now, of course, the problem is that this guy can heal him, and sometimes there's literally nothing you can do to stop him. He'll be in a weird situation where you can't stop him, and he's covered by half life so... If he gets healed, he gets fucking healed. Can't really stop it sometimes, you know? But there's heal- Oh, and the dagger- Yeah, and the range of the dagger almost fucked us up, so there we go. Another case for weapon range being vitally important on this run. He does beat to the punch every single time. You wanna do it? Oh, you see, that's the thing. That's why you don't want to brawl him, because he beats it to the punch. And look at that. Almost, well, if I, had, if I hadn't been Ember, that's a two shot. Yeah, you want to be... Okay, one, two. As I said, he always follows up a light with another light. 99% of the time. You can just run in, see if there's a light attack, then run back in and get the parry. It's quite... It, it, the timing's not bad. You can see there, I just run in and just press the parry button and that's it. So, yeah. Apart from that, play like a mega bitch. I know it's boring, but it has to be that way. Oh, that's just a little fucking egg. Let me touch it. And she's like, what the fuck did you do to my egg? And she's dead. After all my epic adventures in Dralaic, I'm finally at Majula. Wow. No lie, um, some people might think this is a kind of a little gimmick thing with the character. If you let him crawl all the way up to Filinor, you get better RNG for the fight. You get even more RNG if you kind of cheer him along the way. You go, oh, baby, baby, go, 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 go. Oh, shut the fuck up, you little dweeb. The reason why I like it so much is that he's also using their broken sword. It's the last fight of Dark Souls history, and it's two people with a broken sword. One thing that's really good is that he staggers after a few hits like that. I think it's seven, actually. Seven. Yeah, it's seven. So, if you've got the same build of being, the same stats, seven hits is a stagger. And if you're wondering, the story here actually is really badass. He's actually just lost the Fortnite Battle Pass. He got to tier 99, and the season ended before he could get the 100th reward. Five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's still seven for the stagger. Next hit should be a stagger so I can just do this and interrupt him. So if you can time those staggers, you can make this one super hyper aggressive. It's so fun to do. Boom, boom, boom. Two plus two is four. Hey, baby, baby, minus one, that's, oh wait, shit. I kicked him. <laughs> I pressed the kick one. No. Oh, yeah, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it's not that bad. It's pretty fun, actually. It's GG on the Dark Souls 3 Broken Sword Run. It is a pretty challenging run. And if you do do this, I said do do, that's pretty fucking funny. If you do do this, please get back to me how it went, because I think this is the perfect challenge. If you're looking for something not just absurd, if you're looking for something that's a pretty hefty challenge, go for this. It's not absurd, but it is challenging. Okay, so this is actually vital for the Broken Sword true ending. If you sit down on the throne here, you turn the camera roughly to this direction and then you get the fortnite battle pass and that's it boys the run is over you can now quit out and leave your character playing fortnite for the rest of his days it is gg please let me know if you did do this yourself please let me know how it went and yeah it's a lot of fun i would love to see as many tries as possible if you've got any questions post below and thank you so much guys see you in the next one